but all I could see was the little girl's wide-eyed eyes staring at us. That scene still stands before my mind's eye when I think of it today. Saying this, Carrie Kalen looked up at the sky and remained silent. He didn't know if he saw the little girl's face in the thin veils of clouds that were moving in the sky at that time. Sir. Tell me then. When Parthipendra heard that, Carrie Kalen came to this world and continued the story. My younger sister Kundave told my grandmother about playing Odom. After hearing that, the maid Wadis said, My dear. Have you seen this girl? How hot is she? They have come from the Pandian country to the house of our Lord Shiva. They will be here for a few days. This girl's name is Nandini, sometimes include her in your games. She will be a good friend for you. He said. But I learned that my sister did not like it. When the three of us went from there to the palace, Kuntava said, Brother. There is a girl standing there. Do you see how miserable she is? Why is her face like that of a dragon? I must play with her. You say, Grandma? I can't help but laugh when I see her face. What to do? She said. After hearing this I realized an important fact. It means that women are born jealous at birth. No matter how beautiful a woman is, she cannot bear to see another woman beautiful. When Veerapandian disappeared, the Sri Lankan soldiers who had come to help the Pandian army retreated. Chasing them, we went up to Sitakare. Others escaped by boat while the dead went away. My father wanted to educate the kings of Sri Lanka who often sent troops to help the Pandyas and harass them. Kajum Balarch decided to send a large force to Ceylon under the command of a small farmer. It took some time to collect the necessary ships and logistics. But we tarried there, and sent troops on board ships. After knowing that our soldiers had landed safely at Matadam, we returned to the Chola country from there. Chasing them, we went up to Sitakare. Others escaped by boat while the dead went away. My father wanted to educate the kings of Sri Lanka who often sent troops to help the Pandyas and harass them. Kajum Balarch decided to send a large force to Ceylon under the command of a small farmer. It took some time to collect the necessary ships and logistics. But we tarried there, and sent troops on board ships. After knowing that our soldiers had landed safely at Matadam, we returned to the Chola country from there. Chasing them, we went up to Sitakare. Others escaped by boat while the dead went away. My father wanted to educate the kings of Sri Lanka who often sent troops to help the Pandyas and harass them. Kajum Balarch decided to send a large force to Ceylon under the command of a small farmer. It took some time to collect the necessary ships and logistics. But we tarried there, and sent troops on board ships. After knowing that our soldiers had landed safely at Matadam, we returned to the Chola country from there. Kajum Balarch decided to send a large force to Ceylon under the command of a small farmer. It took some time to collect the necessary ships and logistics. But we tarried there, and sent troops on board ships. After knowing that our soldiers had landed safely at Matadam, we returned to the Chola country from there. Kajum Balarch decided to send a large force to Ceylon under the command of a small farmer. It took some time to collect the necessary ships and logistics. But we tarried there, and sent troops on board ships. After knowing that our soldiers had landed safely at Matadam, we returned to the Chola country from there. But I soon found that none of my people liked it. Since my arrival, Kundave has started showing her hatred towards the woman. One day our grandmother Maithwadi called me and said, Nandini Archakar is a housewife, you are the emperor's son, now both of you are in trouble. So it is not advisable for you to associate with Nandini, said Buddy Maitai. Till then, I had respected my grandmother as a goddess, and then I got angry with her and insulted her words. Despite his advice, I sought out Nandini and talked to her. It did not last long. Suddenly one day it came to know that Nandini and her parents had left for their village in the Pandian country. Then I was filled with grief, anger came over me. I kept the sadness inside my heart and showed my anger on my sister. Luckily I got to travel north for a few days. 
I had also set out with the Chola army, which had set out to repel the rash Trakuta forces that had occupied Thirumunapati and Thonde Mondal. That's when you and I met, we became mutual friends. However, the emperor was determined to leave the Pandian battlefield. I told him not to. I made a promise to my father that I would not return to the Chola country without defeating the Pandian army, recapturing Madurai, and taking the head of Vera Pandian. You were with me then. Accepting my offer, my father sent us to the battlefield of Pandya. He ordered us to fight under the leadership of Kajumbalar Buthivikrama Kesari, who was already in charge of the army. We agreed and went. On the way we met a big predator. We learned that the Palyavatare were dissatisfied with the appointment of the Kajumbalar Chancellor instead of making him the head of the force. I made a promise to my father that I would not return to the Chola country without defeating the Pandian army, recapturing Madurai, and taking the head of Vera Pandian. You were with me then. Accepting my offer, my father sent us to the battlefield of Pandya. He ordered us to fight under the leadership of Kajumbalar Buthivikrama Kesari, who was already in charge of the army. We agreed and went. On the way we met a big predator. We learned that the Palyavatare were dissatisfied with the appointment of the Kajumbalar Chancellor instead of making him the head of the force. I made a promise to my father that I would not return to the Chola country without defeating the Pandian army, recapturing Madurai, and taking the head of Vera Pandian. You were with me then. Accepting my offer, my father sent us to the battlefield of Pandya. He ordered us to fight under the leadership of Kajumbalar Buthivikrama Kesari who was already in charge of the army. We agreed and went. On the way we met a big predator. We learned that the Palyavatare were dissatisfied with the appointment of the Kajumbalar Chancellor instead of making him the head of the force. Accepting my offer, my father sent us to the battlefield of Pandya. He ordered us to fight under the leadership of Kajumbalar Buthivikrama Kesari, who was already in charge of the army. We agreed and went. On the way we met a big predator. We learned that the Palyavatare were dissatisfied with the appointment of the Kajumbalar Chancellor instead of making him the head of the force. Accepting my offer, my father sent us to the battlefield of Pandya. He ordered us to fight under the leadership of Kajumbalar Buthivikrama Kesari, who was already in charge of the army. We agreed and went. On the way we met a big predator. We learned that the Palyavatare were dissatisfied with the appointment of the Kajumbalar Chancellor instead of making him the head of the force. All around Vera Pandian, the men of danger stood guard like a wall. The Pandian warriors were far more dangerous than the Chola slave army. They vowed not to run back and to save the Pandya king at the cost of their lives. If that was not possible and the Pandya king was in danger, they vowed to sacrifice themselves by cutting off their heads. Such soldiers fulfilled their debt. We killed them one by one. The corpses of the dead piled up in mountains. But we do not find Vera Pandian among them. We were fooled by the Pisces flag. An elephant stood holding a fish flag. But the Pandya king is nowhere to be found in its name or side. Wasn't Vera Pandian a Samartha in running away from the battlefield and hiding? Suspecting that he might have fled even now we divided our forces and sent them on all four sides. I was not the only one who thought that nothing should come to the puja of that Purumal temple. There was a goddess in Butter's house who captivated my heart and had a temple on my chest. One day when I entered the oasis, I saw Nandini. Her kolam had changed a little. She tied her hair in a crown in front like an idol of Andal and had a garland around her neck. She also wore a garland around her neck. What Kolam is this? I asked. She told me that after parting with me she had made up her mind that Manadar would marry no one, but marry Kanan like Andala. This seemed to me sheer madness. Amanita woman, to marry a god, but I didn't want to make an issue of it at the moment. Let the war be over, then. I thought, I can see to it. I asked her if she wanted any help. Make sure none of your soldiers come here. Only my old parents are here. They are invisible. There is one person of mine who is strong. He has now gone on a pilgrimage to Tyrapati, she said. 
I returned with a promise to ensure that none of our soldiers come there as she asked. Then I went and saw her two or three times. My old infatuation with her had multiplied tenfold and flared up. However, I persevered. The work that came must be completed first. He should go to old Array with the head of Vera Pandayan, in return, I decided to ask my father's permission to marry Nandini. Then I went and saw her two or three times. My old infatuation with her had multiplied tenfold and flared up. However, I persevered. The work that came must be completed first. He should go to old Array with the head of Vera Pandayan, in return, I decided to ask my father's permission to marry Nandini. Then I went and saw her two or three times. My old infatuation with her had multiplied tenfold and flared up. However, I persevered. The work that came must be completed first. He should go to old Array with the head of Vera Pandayan, in return, I decided to ask my father's permission to marry Nandini. Nandini, who was dressing the wounds, stopped and came forward when she saw me. She prostrated herself and got up. Calling out, Sir. I swear by the love you once had for me. Don't do anything to him. Do not kill this mortally wounded man with your hand, she said. I stammered, What do you have to do with this man? Why are you asking him to spare his life? I said. This is my lover, this is my goddess, this is Dayalan who has agreed to marry me, said Nandini. The compassion that I had for the injured Vera Pandayan has gone away from me. This evil Sand Alan, how has he taken revenge on me? Even though he has captured my kingdom, there is no harm, he has not taken away the princess who was living in my heart? How can I show mercy to him? It is impossible. I kicked Nandini and pushed her past and cut off the head of Vera Pandayan with a single stroke of the sword. I feel ashamed now when I think of that terrible act. But at that time, along with the passion for war, I was also filled with hatred. In that rage, I killed Vera Pandayan and crossed the threshold of the house, turning back to Nandini once. I saw. She also looked at me without batting an eye. I have never seen such a sight in this world. In it, all the six types of food like lust, hostility, lopa, infatuation, religion, etc. were burnt up like fiery jewels. Even after looking at it many times, I still don't know what it means. By then you and many others had come in search of me. Seeing the headless body and bloodied head of Vera Pandayan, everyone cheered. But a huge burden was pressing on my chest like a mountain of emancipation.